video quality. On my, what I can see, it looks pretty good. It looks like, in the little box in the, the upper right, it looks pretty good, no? What? Oh, for Do your you guys video? see good quality? Or is, because I know the internet in my room is really bad. So, am I coming across fine? It okay. Is beautiful. Don't worry about Thank it. You. Like, it's, it's hard to take classes in my... Oh, are we starting? I can't <laughs> tell. For 30 seconds. Is, it's a, is this the intro? Yeah. This is the cold, the cold intro. It's the cold, okay. That was the cold open? He got an 80, guys. This is the experience practice with me and someone who got an 80. And say someone else. Say someone else. There you, and someone else. And that other someone else is Alex. Welcome back to the experience podcast, everyone, with someone else. Someone else. Who, who got an 80. Yeah. And some, someone else who got an 80. <laughs> All right, yes. we did this enough times. Uh, we <laughs> have okay. Tanner and yeah, Alex. Nice introduction. And uh, Stefan is in the background, so he can't hear the audio. That's the fun part of this. He can't hear the audio. He can only hear what I say out loud. So yeah, he's going to have to fill in the blanks, but he can still be a valid participant. You're kind of getting like... Do you want me to put it on one speaker, or does that cause feedback? That would cause... Uh, well, if I fix my microphone... No, no, no don't risk it. We can set yeah, it up to running on a different no, device. Uh, connected to the rate oh. cons. Can let's see the rate cons let's see connect the mic. Stefan. Yeah. Do I sound fine now? Where's the feedback? There's gonna be a second. Oh, there, there, oh, it, is. Oh, there, there it is. <laughs> no, no, connect the Raycons. Connect the cons. Give me a Tanner, call. he yeah. can join on his phone. Just Just join on your phone. Just join on your own. No, why would I join on my phone? I'm gonna get Skype. I don't want Just to go in a different Skype separate again. room. It's for our production quality stuff. You're ruining the freaking podcast. You're anyway, wait, Alex. Was... Yeah. Uh, still hear each other. Okay. We're still doing this on air. That's fine. This is on air, Stefan. We're live. Wait, Can't you realize this? Stephen, you're messing up the whole podcast. Just join on anyway. Skype. Don't make this work. Anyway, let's talk about it. Uh, we, were sp we only have about half the guests here. Uh, Stefan is trying to join. Stephen, are you trying to join or not? One sec. He says one sec. I'll, I'll add you on Skype. All right. Anyway, uh, the other person was Blake. He is missing. And the final person is someone... That is actually one of these someone people, else. One of these people knows very well. Who is it? Tanner's mom, and she's joining the call right now. Whoa, guest up here. Yeah, I can't get her. That's she's just cool. upstairs. No, Elizabeth <laughs> was supposed to come on, but she's not answering my calls. So I think so. she's. I think she's. She's. I think she's doing some work. Yeah, she's not. I asked her about this time, and she said, "Yeah, that'll work." So. She said yes. She said, <laughs> oh. She said, Alex oh. is on the podcast? No. Uh -uh. Yeah, I think that's the reason why. Yeah, she didn't. Well, I don't think she knew that Alex. Yeah, I don't think she knew. a total surprise. She would have seen this smile. Daniel's face. really trying to set up a. I'm trying to set you guys up. It's a reality <laughs> dating show now. <laughs> Cute. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> the experience becomes the love experience. Love Island. <laughs> becomes the, the, Island. like a blind podcast. I mean, We're, it's been like 30 episodes since we've been trying to get Tanner's girlfriend on. I, yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay. Has it been 30 episodes? Oh my god. Uh, since we were trying to get really Tanner's girlfriend really does fly by. It's not, not this year, though. Let's, let's talk about it. 2020, not off to a great start. What do you guys think? See, it was, it was a really open-ended question. Alex? I mean, <laughs> I don't think it's been very good. I mean, we have like a global pandemic. You know, so that straight up sucks. Yeah, dude. Daniel, what about you? What do you think? Very insightful. All right, let's talk about the pros and cons of, of coronavirus. Pros. It goes right, well I know with that lines. you guys have seen this. Sure. Um, also, it's, you know, reduced like CO2 consumption or something yeah. like that. I don't know. I don't know how to read. Like, but, like, our, 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 global footprint, our global CO2. carbon footprint has gone down as a result, which is kind of cool. But I, it's weird how a pandemic has to happen for people to, like, make that change. Stings. But, yeah. Um, the other other positive that I want to bring up, and I'm sure you guys on video can see this, um, I haven't shaved since uh, ever. 
That makes sense <laughs> since like it's in. been like two Three weeks. weeks. And Three. honestly, I'm just trying to see it because like the benefit is if you guys have wanted to grow a beard, um afraid of like the, the mid stage where it's like really ugly and patchy and disgusting. <laughs> now is the time to grow it because you you're not gonna see anyone outside. Yeah. So now is the time to do anything you want, anything crazy you can like I could dye my hair purple, you know, and it wouldn't be that much of a problem because it'll go away by the next time we see each other in person, you know. If you guys just want to go crazy now, it's literally the time. So literally, just be yourself, speak your truth. Uh, Corona 2020. That's all I got to say. That's that's, that's for the platform. pros. That's, yes, yeah, so that's the pros. I mean, like, it is kind of good for that that aspect. I was thinking about it. I was like, it's given me a chance to really show how disgusting a beard can be on me. <laughs> so, I've always wanted to grow one. I couldn't really do it during No Shave November because it would look disgusting. I'd still see people. Now so you you're guys, really letting yourself go. Now. You guys can see it. I mean, it's it's like long. It's it's fun, it's fun though. It's like and what's, it what's crazy is when I, Alex is also growing out his beard. Yeah. 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 You're you're. That's actually a lie. Daniel's lying. Based it's on the art, right. my camera, no, 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 no. I can see it's, that. It's because I have the screen blurred out. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Daniel's okay. just got really it's good eyes. Lo it looks like he's got, like, a full-blown, like, forest just living on his face. <laughs> just Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm in talks with the federal government to get a, a state forest uh, proclaimed. Yeah, it, <laughs> it looks like a little, there's, like, it's like a forest, like a hair forest just growing on his face. You guys can't see this because you're in the audience, but, yeah. He's got Maybe a, I'll upload the ass. audio version. Or the uh, video, the video version. I would hope you'd upload the... <laughs> yeah, at least the audio. I at mean, Tanner said it's time to experiment, you know. Go go, go for live stream. Video. I don't know if this is the episode where I talk about how no one can see my face and how disgusting the beard is <laughs> to really be the breakthrough video. You still episode. see people. You still see your brother. Well, I don't care what my brother thinks about how disgusting my face looks. You know? There's a difference. How, how's Stefan doing? How is he doing? Um, he's Where is fine. He? he well, I don't. I don't know. He's figuring out how to get Skype. Maybe on. His <laughs> I guess it should it's have pretty, Skype. It's a know. pretty involved process. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's a 19-year-old. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's that's another con. I guess it sucks for for him and and for people like Daniel, like freshmen and seniors, seniors that are going to the job market, Stefans that are losing out on their freshman year and whatnot. Um, Kind of a, a bummer for him. So yeah, he kind of yeah. lost out on part. Daniel, what are your thoughts Maybe on that? We can talk about that. But Daniel, yeah, you're in a much worse position. Just freshly graduated, going into this whole. I haven't graduated yet. I mean, okay. T minus fourteen hours, right? You just got to submit that assignment. I have a lot of stuff actually that I still mm. have to work on. Actually, I'm not in the clear yet. No. Alex, well, why don't I mean, you talk about the uh, changing transportation landscape, actually? Oh, good Yeah, okay. Nobody's driving uh, right now because nobody w can go to work. Um, and so what about we're public transportation? Public transportation? Yeah. I don't really know what you mean by that. Well, I know what People public aren't transportation going on. is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the same thing. Why public transportation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is it They're mean, actually getting... Public? <laughs> they're ending Marta right now. It's crazy. Are they actually? No. <laughs> I mean, for some yeah. people, that wouldn't affect them at all <laughs> just because of the uh, limited reach, but nobody's doing anything. Uh, so as a uh, qualified civil engineer, I can tell you that nobody's going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alex, for the transportation expert, update. Right? Yeah. Are you gonna ask me any uh, expert uh, no. questions? Tanner, will okay. UPS be changing their uh, color scheme anytime soon? Well, their original motto, I think, was at least back 20 years ago, not their original motto, but one of them, was what can brown do for you? So as far back as I remember, they've always been the, the brown parcel kind of company, and they've kind of had that, that brown and gold crest associated well, with them. Well, so I don't know if that's gonna change, Alex. Tanner, I you think. are a very qualified student. You're very intelligent yes. and hardworking. Yes. Yes. Um,
can you talk yes. about your oh, top wow, notch internship you were supposed to have this summer? Is that still happening? Yes. People are wondering. Uh, really? Uh, thank you, people. Yeah. We've got a couple Shout comments. out to the people who are listening on. Yeah. yeah, on Podbean, <laughs> Castbox, the bubbles Netbean, coming in. Spotify, iTunes, Google Play. If you guys are listening on those platforms, you get Tanner's shout out of the episode. So, shout out to you guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Alex is slow clapping. I didn't know you could do that. Alex, so really, you can send hearts. So, so, yeah, you can send hearts through Skype. Um, Moji. Uh, yes, my internship, I think, is still on. I emailed them because I was supposed to receive like a... Uh, Bates said, add me. All right, so I'll figure out how to add stuff. But apparently it's still back on. Like, I had to email them, um, and they're like, yeah, due to COVID-19, we're doing some, like, scheduling, so we'll, we'll call you in, in the next week. So I should hear something. Next well, are you going to be able to do that online? Still on. um, like, what do you mean? Oh, well, ideally, I was supposed to start May 4th, but I doubt that's, that's going to happen. Um, on one of their emails they sent me, one of the communications they sent me, it said that they're moving some start dates for Georgia interns back to like June 16th or something like oh, that, maybe wow. May 18th, something like that. So I think they might be moving back the due date, uh, but it seems like I still have it at this point. So very thankful for that. All right, people can rest assured, Tanner is still employed. I mean, he'd be picked up immediately by another team i think obviously he's just he's just a real solid three and d player that can definitely not the stephanie base hold on uh-oh uh-oh he just i just added, added yo it's just, annabelle what uh-oh i think i just added the wrong stephanie <laughs> uh-oh. uh-oh i just I waved just gonna message guy. me <laughs> he's an elite three master it's just gonna message me in three <laughs> hours and drug, say, uh, kingpin uh, Stefan Debates. <laughs> Tanner, you could just Honestly, add his it was name. the wrong Stefan Debates. Or you can Stephanie send Debates? him the link. I'm trying. You can send him the I'm link trying. too. Add to call. Okay, it was him. It was him. Okay. All right, I'm gonna add him to the call. All right, I'm gonna figure out how to add him to the call. Uh, once I figure out how to do this. Okay. <laughs> All right, so well, uh, what's the yeah. helicopter going on in the background? Tanner? You hear it online? I don't hear it. There's nothing for me. What are you talking about? I hear it, but I don't think it's me. Uh, well, it, uh, my fan's going, but... Cool it down, Alex. I just muted right. myself. No, we're okay. It's not me. Well, while we wait for Al- uh, Steph. How do I add him as a friend to add him to the call? Alex, I'm, I'm... how have you kept busy? How have I kept busy? Um, School. I have assignments still. You traveling? Uh, traveling? Yeah, I've been taking a lot of public transportation uh, and <laughs> driving on the uh, nation's highways. Did you have any plans <laughs> that you had to cancel? Yeah, we were going, uh, me and a couple friends are going to go to Hilton Head for spring break, take in the sun, the sand, oh, so, not take in the sand, but... So you canceled your plans to go? To go to the beach, yeah. The beach. I was a like little... Like a responsible uh, citizen. Are we, uh, are we shading someone here? I don't know if they're paying attention. It's like oh. another person. <laughs> what, me? I, I, are you talking about how I went to the beach? See, but this yeah, isn't a bunch about... of college kids. This was yeah, the... this was oh, my, my family. Uh, we were very, very oh. isolated. Stephen oh. Debates just <laughs> no way. It's bait. <laughs> yes. Stephen yes. Debates. Hey, Yo, this Tanner's agent. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. This is my agent. He's, he's the one who makes that possible. So, Stephen, tell us about today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Well, Raid Shadow Legends is a free-to-play, massively multiplayer online mobile game and it has around 20 million concurrent players worldwide. Now, Raid Shadow Legends has over 500 champions to choose from. And who's and, your favorite champion, by the way? Uh, oh. My favorite champion is um, the, the Assassin. She has a knife. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah. And she uh, does massive damage. Don't forget mass- the massive damage. <laughs> massive damage to her, all of her enemies. Uh, That's really cool. Yeah. So, Pretty what sure. product 
code can we use to to get the a, a discount or at least ten free gems? It's two hundred silver. Two hundred okay. silver and ten free use gems. Code right? Daniel, uh, to <laughs> use code Daniel to get your uh ten thousand silver today. Uh, this won't last long. The number of silver just keeps going down. Actually, yeah, the last uh, code Silverman just expired. Actually, so they they go pretty quick. <laughs> Gotta get them like that. The first person to enter Daniel gets the code. After that, it's over. Oh. Okay. Well, thank you. I, I don't know if you guys heard that. It was oh, it said poor connection. That's on my end. Stefan was like cutting out. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, we we uh, we we could. Oh, I'm gonna go Did down you with hear the, the game. wonkiness. <laughs> no, the like the the wonkiness. Okay, so it seems so. Stefan and I's uh, internet is kind of problematic. I mean, Stefan so. Stefan was fine. Oh, where did I? Oh, go? really? Alex, what'd you do? Uh, nothing actually. Do we have a more hectic episode of the podcast? I don't please? think. I don't think so. No. <laughs> Dude, okay, I'll, just random okay. people. I'll, I'll just keep sending emojis. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Can we just add random people named Daniel? Like, look up Daniel. <laughs> just add him. Hey, you want to be on a podcast? I'm going to type in Daniel and your people and add the first guy. Can I do that? Maybe don't. Do oh, okay. So it's Daniel. His Skype name is P Lover Two. <laughs> P Lover spelled P E E, like P, like piss. We got I think it. he'd make some interactive All right, say talk. hi. I'm going to say hi. I'm going to ask him. Uh, he's not online, I don't think. Oh, that sucks. Since he's in a- KP, that's his location. What is KP? What does it mean to you guys? Mm. Now, KP, I think, rather than a geographical location, it's more of a state of being than yeah, anything mm-hmm. else. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, especially when it comes to Skype. Um... So, Stefan, tell me about your spring break experience. Oh, my spring break experience. Well, it was great. I, you know, lovely group of friends. We'd been planning since February to go to St. Augustine Beach uh, for, you know, a beach trip, right? Uh, All of a sudden, or the month before, my mom's like, so what are you doing for spring break? So I tell her, I'm like, going to St. Augustine with some friends. And she's like, that's lovely. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't be mad if I, you know tagged along right just you know decided to go to saint augustine as well i i told her i mean uh oh uh okay she's like oh yeah don't worry about it um two weeks later she's like okay so we're going to Saint. i'm going up to saint augustine uh over spring break and i'm like oh okay and she's like no it'll be great you can invite a friend like have like a night dinner night you know just it'll be great uh and so eventually the day before spring break comes and everybody's wary in the chat. One of the people has already canceled because of Corona. Uh, all this, all this Corona's fear is happening. People's moms aren't letting them drive. Um, so eventually the day before everybody was supposed to come down, they all collectively decided to cancel. But I was already up there with my family because my family had decided to go. So I ended up spending a week with the family, and that was that was a spring break at a crowded beach. Yeah, very. It was crowded. actually very crowded. However, of course, we were like thirty feet from the next person over. Like, I mean, obviously it's a it's a beach, so you can still be around people, but not actually within like any form of actual contact. Like, we we were still separated. I mean, there was more people than you'd expect to be on a, a beach. I, I guess maybe spring break had just started for some of the Florida universities or, or something like that. Um, so it was, it was decently crowded, but it wasn't like we were like going up and talking to people. Um, did you draw a safety so, circle? We did not draw a safety circle. We had our my dogs. Mom's gonna, that my was. mom's going to make an appearance. My mom's going to make an appearance. Oh, Hold on. I'm going to mute myself. Is... What do you want, mom? <laughs> oh, now? Are you freaking kidding me? Now? Who are you talking to? Who's that? Who that? Oh, let me unmute myself. Uh, hey, Daniel. You were you? muted the whole. You were you weren't muted. I know that was the joke. That was oh. the bit. That's oh. Alex. I, yeah. Hey, Alex. Oh, I keep cutting out. Hello, I say hello back. You are? Yes, we're live. You're on the podcast. Give yourself all of it. No, I'm not lying. <laughs> it says recording. <laughs> I'm not it lying. Says it's recording. Uh, 
if you see. So it's recording the call. Oh. This is actually for. I told you. Yeah, it's specifically five million blocked people out of an hour, yeah. right? Is that it's specifically thing? blocked off this amount of time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm getting mad for it. It's a bit where I pretend to mute myself, but I'm actually just fine. Go. <laughs> right. Don't worry. All right. I mean, Thanks for making an appearance. Yeah, You've been a very. Doing a great uh, job grabbing this yes. talent. I like yeah. how Tanner always on. explains the bit halfway through the bit. <laughs> I mean, I didn't I actually get going. that at my mom. She was like, just take the dogs out for a walk. But if there's said, anything decided. that makes a bit better, it's explaining the joke halfway through. Not even halfway after. Halfway through. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, I mean, I that like... Sure. Yeah, no, it just I increases... I didn't know if you guys would have gotten... Like, you would have probably thought, oh, Tanner is an idiot. He probably forgot to, uh, you know, actually mute himself. So I didn't want that to be the case. I mean, I kind of thought it, so it's a good thing you explained really? it. Four yeah, so it, it, that's like a third of the people got fooled. <laughs> a third of you guys got fooled. Yeah. Uh, Were yeah. you fooled, Daniel? Anyway, Alex. <laughs> situation. Say that again, uh, Daniel. Did you figure out your situation? It it says a check de la connexion. So it's, I like I pop up for a sec and then it, it cuts out on me. Uh, which is a real shame. I've been you going sound? into the settings and stuff, but... But your video's gone. But you sound good, so it's fine. I wouldn't mess with you. I mean, I always sound good. <laughs> yeah. But, but thanks. <laughs> you, yeah, the buttery, smooth tone of Alex Poor's voice. That's the someone else. The voice of this, of the ad, too. Well, it's part yes, of it. what is today's ad, Alex? Uh, today's ad is... Uh... <laughs> Raid. Dang no, it. that was today's sponsor. That was today's sponsor. Usually we're spon we uh, we uh we do ad reads from like what like sh I think the very first ad read on the show was me and I was reading like a Tyson chicken or something like that. Remember Daniel? Were they the very first sponsors or very first ad? Excuse me. Which is different from sponsor. I really don't know. I couldn't tell you. Just find a random product in your room and and thank it for sponsoring today's video. I'd like to thank Panera Bread. Uh, all those times when I'd be at Willage and would not be young enough to have a uh, Georgia Tech meal plan, uh, I I did I I did and I went and and purchased some French onion soup because it's pretty good. Mm. Um, it is. It's got a little bit of something in there that you just like. What is that? It's got yeah, the quickness of you know maybe Subway, and it's got the quickness of Chick Fil A, but it's got the. Uh, health factor that a lot of other restaurants just don't have and uh it's got some nice baked goods and that's sort of uh, a little bit of a departure from what we're accustomed to with the uh, fast food so it's carved out a nice little niche for itself and uh, it's done great and uh it, the support comes from viewers like you and we just want you to continue to uh consume this product and uh you know, keep bringing your business into those Panera Breads, which is called St. Louis Bread Company in St. Louis. Uh, fun fact. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, actually, I believe so. That's a St. Louis company. fun fact. I love this product integration included to fun yeah. fact. So today on uh, Midwest History, uh, we're going to talk about St. Louis, Missouri. And... So Stephen, well, tell me about the arch. What is the arch? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm invested now. I want to hear about it. I know nothing You're about answering the question. Louis. Oh, so I am. You're, oh. you're our foremost <laughs> just give St. Louis St. Louis expert. Missouri fact. Come on. I okay. As somebody who's visited St. Louis once, I I can I guess I can call myself an expert. Yeah. Um, I got a bit of experience. I remember St. Louis explicitly because of the fried octopus that we had there, uh, and then yeah. the 15 minute bathroom trip I took immediately after. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure, that was St. Louis. We did that. Was that in not St. Louis? New Orleans. Actually, oh, that was well, Nolans. We went to St. Louis. Shoot. That was Nolans, dude. Oh, uh, also along the same river. Um, but yeah. Thank you for pointing that out, Stefan. Uh, St. We Louis, went... Missouri is along the Mississippi River. That's a cool fact. No problem. Yeah. Was this on one trip to Texas? I think we went to St. Louis on a trip. I think we went to Nolans, then St. Louis, like drove through St. Louis and, and saw the arch. Uh, and like park somewhere or something like that and then we went to houston texas i think like we drove there so like a family road trip 
But that was when Stefan was really, really young. Stefan's my younger brother, by the way, for a podcast. And his agent. Yeah. Tanner's agent. But he's also my agent. He's very um, proficient at, at managing contracts and whatnot. So we, we I've, I've kept that relationship a little bit separate from our relationship as brothers. So that's that's always a good thing. But I'm surprised he remembers the St. Louis trip. Because he was like... Oh, was we that? lad. That was like when he was like <laughs> seven at the most, maybe. Wow. Wow, like three they years They don't make ago. them like that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, with I this know. Corona thing, I mean, it's just the the, yeah. the before times definitely seem real far away. So it's pretty crazy. So, guys, I got some to talk about. Yeah. So we've seen it everywhere. Maybe. What do you guys think? So this new let's let's talk about how coronavirus is impacting school. So for those of you don't who don't know, we're we're all at Georgia Tech, and and what Georgia Tech has decided to do is shift to online systems like like most schools have done but they've remained um not pass fail but like still like merit-based you know usual so what do you guys think about that like the decision to not go pass fail like the university it's tied to the university system of georgia's decision to not go pass fail i think it has a lot to do with that alex i wasn't asking you i was asking daniel i'm really sorry yeah i'd like to ask alex okay (laughs) popcorn i'll allow it okay cool um, well, uh, yeah, I don't know. It seems like the universe, the the good old University of Georgia, Athens, has a lot of clout with USG. And so maybe they don't need that as much as we do. And so that's kind of swaying their decision. But I have no basis for this whatsoever. That is, there's no basis to the fact there. Alex? Am I breaking? I believe the source? UGA is one yeah, of the Yeah, it's my, like, uh, <laughs> my enigmatic, um, brain, you know, Always thinking up these theories. I have no basis for this whatsoever. I think I read an AJ I don't know. Aren't most most There's other some... schools are pass fail like around the country? Yes. There's other other top engineering programs. Yeah. yeah. There is one person on this call who went to UGA. There's there two. are actually two. Hi. Uh, yeah, I count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alex so is here not... we we see it. We see a class struggle in today's call. Uh, okay. <laughs> the transfers versus the yeah. non-transfers. Get yeah. out of here. Wow. Just lower it. Tra- we need trans rights, okay? Oh, boy. <laughs> that, and we've bad, bad launched it. Um, yeah, we have to cut that out. <laughs> so, hey, everybody. I know it's been 15 <laughs> seconds of silence, but I hope you're enjoying the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a weird... We skipped forward 15 seconds. Uh, that's well, crazy. It, it only took 27 minutes for Tanner to make a homophobic joke. So that's pretty... <laughs> it wasn't homophobic. It was transphobic. The joke. <laughs> it was sexist. Okay. No. No, it was... It was <laughs> there was something it was, wrong with it. It wasn't transphobic. I wasn't, like, making fun of... You just have to get a, into a conversation with just, Tanner to go through joking. time. <laughs> and just edit out get that. down that hole. <laughs> Slowly, he just inches uh, towards the shovel, and then the grave just starts digging it. It's just, but yeah, uh, Daniel, I, as I was saying, what do you think about it? The uh, whole pass fail thing, or Tanner said, but Tanner this, and I, I are mean, both transfers, so we, we have the, we carry the same worth and opinion. <laughs> <laughs> this affects Daniel the most because he's in grad school. So when he applies to other grad schools, he's really got to keep that high <laughs> GPA. It actually maintaining an attractive applicant status. So it affects me the least. I it's can't back. switch to pass fail at all. No, because I guess your grad school GPAs. No, but also I think I need to take these courses for letter grades. Like, I don't think pass-fail would be acceptable. I think I'm but they to. would... Oh, are you saying... It's also Rona time. Because though. of the, like, the subject matter. I mean... I think they can make some <laughs> exceptions. Yeah, I'm just saying, if, if, if on a normal semester, I wouldn't have been able to anyway. Oh, yeah. Yes. No, because you're taking upper-level engineering courses. There'd be no chance. Yeah, there's no pass-fail. The thing is, they, they might be exceptions. I mean, MIT is, like, doing it. MIT, you know, you trust those. grad school? Not that, they're, not that they're grad school, at least. At least yeah, grad exactly. Grad. It's a little Did different. You expect that? I don't know. I mean, I feel like their engineering courses carry some, some same weight. I, I feel like it's... Okay, so you're arguing that, that grad school couldn't be made past fail. No, no. I, um, I guess kind of... Well, I don't know. A lot of... 
grad school also is mostly A's and B's anyway. Very few people will fail a grad class. Uh, yes. As we all know. I mean, Tanner yes, would. I, but... I would. <laughs> well, I'm not going to grad school, so I guess I already failed. The Georgia not Institute going of Tech. Grad um, I'm just saying it's a little different. Uh, of a perspective I imagine some than, like, important classes. engineering classes at, at MIT. What did you say, Daniel? You I'm just say, uh, saying it's a little different than like Stevens classes. They're, they're very different. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like freshman classes, you can make pass fail. Like contract yeah. negotiation. I mean, kind of. Freshman classes are important for building your GPA. Uh, like, I'd say probably freshman classes define like the general trend of your GPA. Uh, like, if you start with so a 4 you're... Out, you're probably not going to fail your other, like your next year's. Um, but. Uh, if you pass fail that, I don't think it really goes well. If but then you don't. What have about an opt in pass fail? Yeah. Yes. So I see Stefan's point where he's really hard his freshman year to have that cushion available. So as he moves in and transitions into harder classes, he has that, he slacks that off. cushion to protect him, right? Yeah. yeah. He can slack off. Um, Tanner, and, and that's that's a major argument against pass fail. It's like Stefan's worked so hard this semester. He doesn't want all of his his uh, work to be for for not. So only I mean, Stephens. what if there was an what? Well, only only me. I'm the only Stephens. person who's yeah. worked hard. Yeah. Yeah. We've kind of seen the if you look at the graph that. Hey, I might get an A this semester. Here. Okay, guys, you can see it, his performance dropping. <laughs> <laughs> you actually. Uh, I might get an A this semester if you guys if I play my cards right. Well, maybe. What if there was an opt-in pass fail? What do you guys think about that? Shouldn't that be at least? An well, I think there those? is, but it's not for credit. Uh, from what I've heard for about some classes. Um, well, there's always an there's all you can take some classes pass fail to tech. Like I could take a humanities or social. It depends on the major. Fail. Depends on your major. Yeah. And your school. Well, I couldn't take an I couldn't right now. I can't take an engineering an ISYE uh, class pass fail. Are you taking classes um, this semester? Me? Yeah. We're still in a semester technically. You said you haven't done anything for school. I, last month. <laughs> I actually have, but not as much as I guess I should have. It's hard. We can talk about that too. The the transition to online classes is is difficult for everyone, and that that might play into the argument for at least an opt in pass by me. It's it's a how has it been hard for you? Transition. Yeah. How's it been hard as for a, me? It's as it's, a wealthy straight white man. Please the describe why straight white so man. Living in a uh, upper, upper middle class white neighborhood, yeah. I have to say that the real difficulty is just my own roadblocks. Just being in an environment that's way different from academia. I'm in my home room, you know. Uh, it's like with my bed right there. I uh, I'm not actually a physically attending class where I have to hold myself accountable. Tanner, can I stop you for a second? Yes. How is this any different than your behavior? <laughs> no. <more> than <laughs> no, no. Okay, don't stop me for a second. Because let, let me let me finish, damn it. Let me finish. Yeah. Right. So I I have attended class. It's the difference the difference is attending. Oh he attending. attended. Okay. I did attend class when at at, at Georgia Tech. Like physically. But your attendance <laughs> now class. is just like pulling up a video and then tuning it's, in well, like for an hour. And what I'm saying is, in lecture, you have, um, I guess, more of an incentive to pay attention. Like, if you're sitting in the front row, it's different from sitting in the back row, which is different from sitting at home where the teacher can't see you at all. You know, especially for my classes that are pre-recorded. Uh, you know, my, my teacher can't see me. There's no, there's no interaction, so there's really no incentive to to keep up with the teacher and just really pay atten attention. So it's, it's just kind of difficult to get into and just be engaged is what I'm trying to say because of because of the environment the, the difference in envir environment is is not conducive to learning for me at least okay Stefan so. you're in the same exact uh, environment can you describe your experience uh, I've been doing pretty well uh, I've been uh, keeping what? the same routine but oh. difference between me and him I guess is my classes are live uh, so even though most of them are recorded um, 
I have been kind of tannering here. Where uh, <laughs> I, don't use my name. I skipped uh, my recitation today, and then my chem lecture. I only tuned, I woke up ten minutes before the clicker questions were due. Can we um, this call? Yeah, that's, I'm sorry, I have a bad influence, but I I do agree to some extent. Um. Like in my uh, one of my classes, um, basically the whole day I was like ready to take notes. I'm like, OK, give me some new information. The whole time she was just going over review. And so after a point, I just pulled out my phone and got on Reddit, uh, something that I would not have done given that I was in, in class, um, you know, in person. Uh, but it's when I'm learning new information, Pers okay, personally, I find it easier to uh, learn sometimes. Like with chemistry, I, I think this has opened up some new opportunities. With chemistry, uh, the completed PowerPoints have been posted. So I learn better from that than I do the actual lecture. So I've been enjoying that a good bit. And uh, with linear, I can just pull up the textbook and pull up the visualizations that the teacher's referencing. Uh, whereas in class, if he he banned laptops, so we can't, you know, pull these up. We'd have to just use his references. Um, so there's a lot more freedom, I think, and that m allows for a decent bit more exploration during lecture, especially for those people who don't want to ask questions. Uh, Alex, have you been tannering at all lately? Um, I think I've been doing OK. I mean, I think I'm I think I've been guilty of slipping a little bit, losing concentration. But I think I'm doing okay. Uh, what I really like is not having to take time out of my d day to go somewhere. You know, my horrible 15-minute commute at times was just absolutely <laughs> backbreaking. <laughs> With foot traffic, it could be up to 20 minutes. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I mean, from oh. Mason to North Ave, I mean that that is a that is a hike. That is a hike. You know, well, I mean, I I enjoy that though because it's a lot less stressful. You know, I guess it's just, okay, I'll tune in on my laptop right here. So I've definitely, I mean, I don't know if I could do this for an entire semester or for multiple semesters, but I, there are definitely, I think I'm reaping some of the benefits from this of not having to go anywhere. It's it's less stressful for me, I think. No, a hundred percent. There is an aspect of the physical environment and at least walking between classes and just being in an academic mind space that, that's affected me, like, I, I feel like I couldn't do a semester online either. I mean, it's 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 like I know this is bad, but I'm pretty sedentary. I know that's that's on me, but just you know, sometimes classes being 15 minutes apart forces you to walk those 15 minutes, and at least if you have like four classes a day, gets you to at least an hour of walking per day or something like that. Which is which is just enough to like feel healthy, but I feel kind of sedentary. Speaking of moving around, yes. we're really bearing the we buried the lead the whole episode, to be honest. Um, and I'll let Alex take take this over because our intramurals team was canceled. Yeah, oh, what's really God. sad is I didn't actually I was never able to go to a game. <laughs> Alex and, never even played, and it was funny because our uh, dear leader Stephen Aceto was saying I'll give out refunds, and I'm like. Well, that doesn't apply to me. So I was in that I was in that group chat. I'll have I'll have it be known, but I never signed up for the team. I never <laughs> was that anything. Went to I, did practice. Show, I did I did show up to one practice. But that was sad because I was looking forward to that. We would have gotten curb stomped like we always no, we, do. They were you had you guys had an upward trend. You were really downward dollars and the system I mean, shut you down. It, Blake, you you and Daniel, when we were playing against you, Jordan and I the two on two, you guys had some some chemistry, and maybe that's more just basic basketball knowledge that I don't have. On but the court, it... let's keep that in mind. Let's make that clear. <laughs> it's okay. kind of on the court streets. I, I, yeah, I was definitely yeah, but I know um, it's sad because I think we really would have had a shot to pick up. I get it, yeah. Ronaldo. And a shot. Cho chose to leave. Yeah, that was. My so name. wait, was Stephen? Attempting to reimburse you guys out of his own wallet, like I understand that the intramural fees you guys pay to the CRC and it goes to the church tech. No, because we had to pay for the team. You have to pay to 
join the league. Yeah, and so you I'm, had to pay like eighty dollars, right? 70, or something. Seventy. You pay personally, you Daniel Silverstein. That's not. It's not seventy. It's like sixty-five. We each paid about ten dollars. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe uh, so. I think it was fifty. Something. I don't know. But Stephen probably got like a prorated refund back, right? Because you guys played a two-thirds of the semester, so he got two-thirds. Of I haven't heard anything about a refund since he said that in the group chat okay. a month ago. Mm. It's not mm. a big deal. Yeah, I suppose. But I saw some guy complaining on Reddit. He's like, I paid, you know, eight, ten dollars or whatever to be on the team, and we got to play zero games because you know, the whole thing got shut down. Yeah, there's there's people that are losing their jobs, so it's a little, <laughs> I guess, a little bad. Yeah, eight dollars. You find the local CRC Bro, economy. All so. is life. <laughs> when eight dollars in ball is all you have for life. Yeah. Those are the so, real, well, real people that in here. Let me talk to. Let me talk a, a little bit more about the academic experience. All right. So you so guys Daniel, have seen this in do your. Do you have your a uh, St. Louis fun fact for us? <laughs> St. Louis fun fact. So what do you guys think about? Uh, just how the academic landscape might change as a result of what we've seen this past semester. In St. Louis? In St. Louis, specifically. specifically. Yes. The Georgia Tech students in St. Louis. So, school is online for the summer, right. officially. Yep, All of yeah. summer. Uh, there's rumors that they haven't decided about fall yet. That is a suit of St. Louis kids. That's a suit of <laughs> They won't get to go out and see the arch. Yeah. yeah. That would I actually honestly lived in St. Louis for about six years and And we feel bad for you. Alright, that was Alex's and thank you for your St. Louis fact. We don't well, care. Validating what St. Louis <laughs> no, we don't care. We, we get it. You're, it's sad. Boo hoo. There's a <laughs> tissue. You go to St. Louis, we get it. That's Alex's St. Louis sad fact. So, sorry to interrupt you. Well, wouldn't it suck if college football was canceled? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be tragic. Daniel would be devastated. Daniel's yeah. not a man to show emotions or cry over spilled milk or spilled football games. But, like, Daniel, could you imagine if the season got canceled? Yeah. I mean, I'm not one to cry over spilled milk or spilled football games. Football games. That was nice uh, yeah. <laughs> Keep it in check. I... I don't he think isn't. they would cancel, but we don't really know what's going to happen in the winter. Winter games? Are you this saying? Is my 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 fear is that eventually regulations blood up kind of around uh, late summer, and then like a second wave hits as people they're not going out to like festivals and in huge crowds, but like moderately sized crowds will gather because regulations let up, and then uh, they'll get a second wave of the pandemic, and basically it'll be like. March part two, where just waves of yeah. uh, festivals and, and, and other I, large social gatherings just shut down. So. I just wish I had a group of friends to gather with. But, uh, yeah. Oh, boo -hoo. Well, aren't we all here now? It's In these it's trying so, times, isn't this gonna... something we can savor? Speaking of which, are what? you guys on the uh, savory or sweet side of things? Personally, I'm a savory guy myself. But... <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Uh, cool. Is it like, are you talking Korean barbecue where you want it maybe a little bit sweet? Like cray? Or, or, or regular barbecue, you want it mostly savory? Well, actually, Stefan brought up question, cool fact. He, uh, he, uh, he mentioned crepes, and actually, St. Louis is a originally a French settlement. The crepes, oh, of well, course. Oh, that's called Saint Louis. <laughs> so, <laughs> the crepe industry is the fact that Stephen, I think St. that's Louis. two St. Louis facts for Stefan today. That's pretty <laughs> crazy. <laughs> To savory vote. crepes are underrated, though. Fact quota out of the way. You guys can stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, in fact, did you know there are and only this two St. Louis Okay, facts? guys. I, I'll give you another St. Louis fact. Yeah, there's only St. two. Louis... You said them. Okay. Okay. We've met, we've met our quota, so that's the third St. Louis fact. Is that we've met our St. Louis fact quota. Strike three. So, so guys, I got a question for you. This is this is kind of risque. What do you guys questions. think? So, with the move to online classes, this opens up a lot of uh, um, room for academic dishonesty and cheating. <gasps> what do you guys think? I mean, interesting Stephen, that Tanner's talk about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we all have. Do we all have experiences? Are you, are you trying to find a way to cheat? 
Turn no, it's this easy. Way. Literally, the can the quizzes are done through can. What I'm saying is, there's vulnerabilities, obviously, and you can, if you're predisposed to academically be dishonest, you can't find a way. It's easy. Like you just hop in a Skype call while you're taking this Canvas quiz. You know. I don't. It's, okay. It's a lot easier. Hey, hey, I did that all by myself. So, but that. With no calculator. I wasn't okay. addressing you. You're totally, you're totally like exposing yourself right now, Stefan. I wasn't directing anything at you. But if you want to talk about, I wasn't your exposing own myself. I got an eighty. If I was cheating, I would have gotten a one hundred. That's true. I mean, at this point, aren't we old enough to know how, like, if cheating becomes a habit, it can be, you know, detrimental. Exactly. I think we're old enough. I guess for younger kids. Mm, but, the youngins. Yeah. Like Tanner. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, Stefan's like, you nine now? Yeah, I think <laughs> nine and a half. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. Wild. We're getting there. We're getting to ten. Not quite there yet. I mean, hopefully, a lot of these professors are trying to design tests and quizzes and assignments so that it's not uh, as beneficial to cheat. In other words, the questions yeah. are more about like they testing. make them easier, so there's no real incentive. No, they the the te questions aren't just about memorizing facts; they're more about critical thinking and applying applications and analysis. Whoa. Yes, but say mm. Stefan and I are taking the same same quiz, like not yeah yeah the same quiz in an optimization class, for instance. Totally, totally conjecture. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and we both have the same. Yeah, let's do a flashback to 8 p.m. last night. Uh, wait, yeah. what's that? What's what's Mr. Joseph Rogaine's like sidekick, dude? Jamie. 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 <laughs> Jamie. Pull that video yeah, creep you... <laughs> of Tanner from 8 p.m. Yeah, we can see he's collaborating with other students on an assessment for his uh, class. All right, let's just. That's just for context. Like, Continue, Tanner. It's in my academic best interest to just talk to Steph and peek in the other room and be like. So, how did you go about doing this problem? Because we have 50 minutes to do this quiz. Just, yeah, that's... A, just, just talk me through. It's like... It's always going to be impossible my to, thought process, to do that. You know? it's like, there's... It's, it, you can't prevent it, so you might as well... Like, because... So, you might as well make it easy, is what I'm saying. But, like, if enough students do it, there might be, like, a, a discrepancy in... in I say discrepancy? Discrepancy. Discrepancy? discrepancy? A grade discrepancy, basically. Like, you'll see... I don't know how to catch it. Maybe lower-level students performing higher on quizzes during this, this struggling period and during that online could also classes. Be due to them being at home and so trying... a bunch of factors, I guess. Yeah, so it's also, like you can never really cool tell. fun fact, again, uh, discrepancy, uh, it has C-R-E-P, which is very close to crepe. <laughs> <laughs> We filled our crepe fun, uh, crepe quota, by the way. No more crepes, please. All right, I think we can wrap up soon. You guys are done with whatever this is. Well, I'm just oh talking my... about my experience. What do you guys think? Is it morally wrong to not try to get ahead in whatever means necessary? Yes, it is wrong. What? <laughs> the teachers explicitly ask you to not cheat. Like, do you want me to pull up the message? They you ask know, you to like, often um, debated ethical dilemma of is cheating morally? <laughs> <laughs> well, if everyone's doing it. Oh. <laughs> everyone's doing it. Is it wrong? That's what <laughs> all the drug users say. Anyway, no, uh, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, Daniel, you have any final thoughts? I I don't want to. Any, anything more you want to share about St. Louis? Daniel's more of a moderator. He's like the invisible hand. The hand that guides <laughs> like he's kind okay. of like a gateway for us M uh, much like the gateway arch oh, yeah. proud of <laughs> 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 uh Stefan, you want to plug right. anything before okay, we wait, go before we go before we go oh, Stefan, plug your instagram okay. and let's go back to plug alex my instagram uh at Stefan debates hit me up uh <laughs> i don't it. know why i was prompted to say that yeah that's my final thoughts i guess <laughs> Uh, stay in school. All right, finish. Alex. All right, Alex. Okay, we're gonna uh, um, quiz you. So you say you lived in St. Louis one time. <laughs> All right. Place. What Italian restaurant in St. Louis is home to the frozen fish bowl? Is it A. The Pasta House, B. Rigazzi's, C. Zia's, or D. Rich and Charlie's? Uh, 
And I think that's it for the episode Rich this week. Uh, thank you guys for coming on. This is a 25 question. Oh my god. Let's see if it actually. <laughs> Just hard. cut it. Cut. I'm only one out of seven. All right. And... Alex, last the entire word? quiz. Um, Give us another fun fact. Tr- trade penny stock. Okay.